The searches on this evening for the winner of that giant jackpot we told you about last night, $337 million, one of the biggest prizes in Powerball history. There was only one winning ticket, and it was purchased in Michigan. ABC's John Schriffen is there looking closely at everyone in town. Good evening, John. Diane, good evening. Millions of these were purchased all around the country, but tonight, almost all of them, nothing but garbage. However, there's still one ticket out there that was purchased at this gas station behind me. That's as good as gold. It's the talk of the town. It's great. I just wish it was me. <laughs> With a population of only 10,000 people, Lapeer is buzzing tonight and hoping that this new instant millionaire is one of their own. Who has this winning ticket? I don't know. I hope it's going to be my regular customer. So we, we need to see him happy like us. Seemingly everyone trying to figure out who it is. My mom called me. Did you buy the ticket? A Powerball windfall could be a much needed boost for this community. Like so many others across Michigan, hit hard by the economy and decline in the auto industry. It's been tough. We've had to make some rough decisions. We've had to lay off a couple individuals and put off some important projects like fixing this crumbling bridge and the main road going through town. If the winner is in fact from here and takes a lump sum payout of about $250 million, the city would get 1% of that in income tax. How much would it cost to fix? Uh, roughly $2.5 million. <laughs> so. And incidentally, that 1% tax would be? $2.5 million. So it's kind of like money from heaven, man. It's... But that divine intervention not guaranteed just yet. We won't know until the person holding that winning ticket comes forward. Diane?